What we have before us is basically every HP Omen you can buy. We have the HP Omen 15 with the Ryzen 7 5800H, Ryzen 9 5900HX. And then we also have the HP Omen 17 with the i7 11800H. And then we also have the HP Omen 16 with the i5 11400H. So we have the full gamut of laptops here in the studio. Whatever one you're considering buying, we're gonna run the benchmarks here in just a second. First and foremost, let's talk about some of the key differences between the laptops. Obviously, screen size is one of the big differences. 15 and a half versus 16 versus 17, okay? So you have to decide what size screen you want. The next will be the ports. And on the 17 inch, we have a port selection as follows. You have the network port, USB type, type A, mini display, HDMI, USB type C, mic jack, and the SD card reader. On the other side, we have the USB type A, and then of course, our vent. And on the 15 and 16, we have USB type A's, mini display port, USB type C. On the other side, we have our mini SD card slot, headphone jack, network port, USB type A, and HDMI. Okay, you get the same amount of ports, just in a different arrangement. Now, punch for punch, as you get a larger screen, you're gonna see more screen flex. So as you can see here, a good bit of screen flex on the 15, but as we get all the way up to the 17, you see a big range of screen flex just because of how large the screen is. So as you move from 15 to 17, your screen flex is gonna slightly increase. This isn't something that I think is a massive concern, but it is something to keep in mind if that is a concern to you. Now, as far as price is concerned and availability, you can head down in the description below and click one of those links. Now, if you do make a purchase of that link, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you, but that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Now, as you move from the 15 to the 17, you're gonna have this charger block for the 15 inch model. As you move up to the 17, you're going to have this massive charger block, okay? If you get in a precarious situation, you could always fight your way out with this thing, all right? So that's one thing to keep aware of is if you get the smaller laptops, 16 and the 15, you're gonna have some smaller charger blocks. As you work towards the bigger laptop, you get that massive charger block. All right, if you're curious about my you know, impressions on the build quality and usability of any of the laptops, I filmed full unboxings and I'll link those up at the end of this video. For now, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into some of the things that are important as far as the differences between the 15 and the 17. First and foremost, the color gamut range, I'm gonna pull that up on the screen now. And regarding the battery life, here are the results. One of the biggest things that I noticed as far as usability was concerned is the difference in the trackpad. So on the 15 inch model, you have a quiet, well secured to the chassis trackpad. And I'm gonna give you a quick audio sample of that one. Compared to the 17, it doesn't sound as secured to the chassis as well as I'd hoped uh, initially compared to the 15 inch model. And here's a quick audio sample of that one. Also something to point out, and this is kind of interesting, as you can see, the 17 has more of a black slate finish where the 15 inch model has more of this reddish black slate finish. So I thought that was an interesting comparison. Without further ado, let's get into the performance of results versus these four different CPU and GPU setups. Now keep in mind the Ryzen 7 5800H and the HP Omen 17 with the i7 11800H both have the RTX 3060. The Ryzen 9 5900HX has the RTX 3070, and the i5 11400H has the RTX 3050. So that's where we're gonna see some differences in the gamut of results. Let's jump right into the simulated benchmarks first with Cinebench R20, R23, Geekbench single core and multi-core.
And as expected, they tear down pretty evenly from the i7 all the way down to the i5. Now, moving on to the 3D modeling benchmarks, you can see we're looking at Autodesk 3DS Max, Autodesk Maya, PTC Creo, and SolidWorks. If you're considering any of these laptops for 3D modeling, I would go for the Intel. It's gonna have better performance in 3D modeling and match with an RTX 3060, you're gonna be in good hands. Moving on to After Effects, same thing. For the After Effects render benchmark, as well as the standard After Effects benchmark, the i7 is gonna win out with the RTX 3060. For the Premiere Pro export times, you can see the results coming up on the screen now for 1080p, 4K, and 6K. Regarding playback, the best results came from the i7. You had the lowest amount of drop frames and 6K B-RAW. Now they all had zero drop frames in 4K and 1080p, so you'd be in good hands there. Moving on to DaVinci Resolve, they're all gonna get solid playback for 1080p and 4K. And then here are the export times for each laptop out of DaVinci Resolve. Now this is where it gets fun. We have all the laptops at the thermals, fan setting, fan noise, and export time to see which laptop performs best for video editing overall. And overall, if you want a cool and quiet laptop, I would go with the HP Omen 17. It just has more room inside of the chassis because of its large stance to cool the laptop, CPU, and GPU. For Photoshop, once again, Intel kills it inside of Photoshop, getting the best results out of the i7 11800H. With the Ryzen 9 and Ryzen 7 falling closely behind and then falling down the charts a little farther, you can see the i5. But I wouldn't write off that i5. That 747 that it scores is fantastic and is gonna be plenty for your Photoshop needs. Now that you have the objective data, you can choose whatever one fits best for your needs. The one thing I would keep in mind with, of course, is that the trackpad on the 15 inch model has been the best for me so far, compared especially to the 17 inch model. Links if you're ready to make a purchase, likes if this video has brought you some value, and subs if you don't miss out on the future uploads. I'll see you here in the next one.